I honestly wish you luck. I made the best man win. You want to go in your grave now or later, man? <laughs> Danes is my younger brother. He kind of takes the brunt of everything. I recently got medically retired from the military. He's a good guy. Bryce is my older brother. We compete with everything, whether it be horseshoes, cornhole. We've had marshmallow gun fights. You name it, we've competed in it. I've been golfing since I was nine or 10 years old. And then when Dane came along, it just took off. Kind of brings out the competitive spirit of us. Growing up as a kid, you could tell he's a little jealous because I was the youngest person in the house and I got spoiled a lot. He always made jokes that I was the favorite son. Dane has been talking a lot of, a lot of smack, but that's our family. It's always smack talking. Just like Vegas. <laughs> Anything that has competition in it, it could definitely get ugly. So we've been talking about who's a better golfer in the family for a while now. So we are going to be playing a round of Top Golf. We each chose three drawings and put them in envelopes. Whoever loses, the loser picks one of the three. It's a sealed envelope. They don't know what they're going to get. And get that drawing tattooed on his body. It's going to be the winner's choice where the tattoo's going to go. It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be like his brand on me. So the tattoos that I've come up with, for Dane. Let me show you the three that I came up with. Nowadays, the kids get participation ribbons. It says, I tried. <laughs> it's a picture of a uh, golf ball surrounded by the words, beat by dad's favorite. My uh, second tattoo, Bryce won. I lost. I have this picture, and it's when Bryce was a kid going after a baseball and dropping it. The third tattoo that I've come up with is the old fashioned trophy. So he'll always remember to never challenge his big brother in top golf. Bryce is known for his uh, flatulence. It says, made service requested. When I get these ideas, they get implanted in my mind, and I keep seeing the tattoo on Bryce's left butt cheek. <laughs> I'm gonna beat the shit out of my brother. <laughs> All right. Great. At golf, right? Uh, yeah. At golf. <laughs> I honestly wish you luck, because you're going to need a lot of it. I don't need luck. So when I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. <laughs> <laughs> so, may the best man win. This could be really bad for me. I think Bryce is going to win. Yeah. I don't Heck yeah. <laughs> All right, Dane. First swing of the bet. Let's get it popping. That's white. Where'd that go? White flag. Ah, nice. White? Yeah. Nice. All day long, I'm just gonna live there, all right? I think you got like three points. Set your mouth. Just gonna live there, right there. Oh. Psychological warfare is definitely uh, in play. Good luck. Come on, babe. I'm gonna take this one to the white. The white sand? Oh, horrible. I think that's gonna hit the Ferris wheel, boy. It's uh, head to the sand trap, and now towards the street. Damn near killed the guy on the bike. <laughs> I'll make you earn it, Dane. Oh, balls. Man, you suck. Zero points. Maybe he needs to borrow the glove. <laughs> Time out. Dane's gotta put the glove on. Man, my hands sweat profusely. Cause you're nervous. This will be over before you know it. I'm just perfect. Is that white? Got it again. Stop, babe. Yeah. Probably you haven't brought up the Ricky Fowler. Let's talk about your Ricky Fowler experience. I was on the same tour as Ricky Fowler. Probably. He's always talking about the junior PGA and Ricky Fowler played in it. I might as well go play against Ricky Fowler. <laughs> so I'm not lying. Oh. This one is going on the freeway. Damn. I was aiming for a flag, anything. <laughs> nope, missed that one. Way off. I don't even need to talk shit. Just keep doing this. This is going to be easy. I can't let my little brother be me, because I'll never hear the end of it. Don't screw it up. 
That's white right there. Where'd that go? White flag. Nice. A white? Yeah, nice. Nice shot. Do you need a new shirt? Is that glove tight? I'll go ahead and uh, take control of the driver's seat. Oh, I don't even know why I'm getting mad. That's still good? Golly, how are you getting these bounces? Brutal. This is my last ball. You suck, Dane. And we'll just end with perfection. Oh, bad bounce. What the hell? OK, I'm getting nervous now. It hit like a something and went way yeah. right. Stop short. So what are you, eight points up on me? Dunzo. <laughs> yeah. That was absolutely terrible. Oh, guys, man. So you know the bet? How would you like to pick a tattoo? I'll pick the biggest, nastiest tattoo you've got. Let's see what you got here. So now the whole world's going to know that. Beat by dad's favorite. I pay my debts. Let's do it. I'll get it. I always like the look of tattoos. I've done this for 28 years. And I'm still trying. It's always forever. When will I get really good at this? Because it's one of the last things left in this world that is actually hand done. That's why I call myself a tattooer, not an artist. And I'm a tattooer because I'm a craftsman. Some people think that we're heartless or emotionless, but it's really not lost on us. I might pretend like I'm not afraid to do a tattoo when inside I'm terrified of whatever it is that I have to do. Maybe your story is so moving, I don't want to mess it up. Are you ready for your butt to never look the same? I can't believe I'm even doing this. Hey guys. How's it going? How you doing? Got this for you, see what, what you, you can do for us. We were uh, playing Top Golf, and there's a bet going on that the loser had to get a tattoo of the winner's choice. And this is shows. it, right? Yeah. And what is this a this is a cookie? Uh, it's or? supposed to be a golf ball. Oh, yeah. Are you drawing? I'm I'm known for my drawing. You agreed to this? Yes. Like you're really gonna where are you gonna put it? He picked the left butt cheek. Yeah, he did. Brotherly love for Oof. making this silly. That was his idea. And the funniest thing is that you just sit there as a tattooer and you go, you got it. How big do you want it? Do you guys still love each other and all that stuff? Yeah, of course. Okay, of course. Let me spruce this up. You can't mess up too much. It's it's original Picasso. It's so. good. Let me work on it, man. Give me a minute. All, all right, right, thanks. I've tattooed all walks of life. You hear all kinds of strange stuff. You know, some stuff that's not appropriate at all, and other things that are just a little strange, like brothers that get in a bet about a golf match and then come in and get a tattoo on their ass. Game on. Hold me. <laughs> I just can't stop smiling. All done? All done. You're good to go. Oh my gosh. Oh. You've done so much for our relationship, the words can't even express it. I appreciate that. I'll take that. All right, man. Come here, take a look. This is one of the be in the group chat. There we go. I can't even press the button because <laughs> from the angle, it looks like the heel of a foot, right? Oh, Doesn't it look like the heel? Yeah. Like a heel. Yeah. You're good. This is amazing. Go have a look. Don't mind your diaper. Ooh. The best thing is, is you can't erase this. This is one of the proudest moments of my life. You're about to have a kid. Well, yeah, in a few months. <laughs> All right. Good game. I kind I slightly feel bad, but it, the joy is just too much. Family is important because they're always going to be there for you no matter what. Even though Dane and I will talk a lot of smack and get in each other's head, we're always there for each other. Family's 
they have your back through thick and thin and they'll stand by your side. I used to always think that the friends I had in high school were so important and I used to prioritize my life around my friends when I was a kid. Going away to the military made me realize especially how much family is important to me because in the end, they're always going to be the ones that are there.